Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Winston Zedmore from the brand new Ghostbusters line from Hasbro. So real quick, I've had a couple of people tell me that this is called the Fright Features line. And that sounds cool. I don't know where you're getting that from because it is definitely not anywhere on the packaging. Unless I'm really just, it, just, it does say Ghost Fright Feature. So I mean, they have Fright Features, but... I'm willing to go with it. I've kind of just been calling it the Afterlife line because I didn't really know what else to call it. But sure, we'll go with Fright Features. Uh, but I was finally able to get a Winston because I, for whatever reason, when I went to the store and I found the other three, I was not able to get Winston. But I'm actually kind of glad I wasn't because apparently there's a difference in the ghosts that are packed in with these. So if you find them at the store, there's only two different ghosts. There's the ghost that comes with Ray and the ghost that comes with Egon. And if you get the Peter and the Winston in store, you just get a repaint. As we saw, uh, Peter's ghost was a repaint of Ray's. And if you buy Winston in store, he comes with a repaint of Egon's ghost. I don't know why. I don't know why there are two different versions. Um, I could understand if it was something that they planned and then they later decided to move to the repaints to, to save money. But they actually produced some of the other ones. So uh, if you get the single releases, well, I got this one on Amazon. Winston comes with a version of Slimer. And Peter actually comes with a small terror dog. So I'm kind of really bummed that I did not get the version of Peter with the terror dog. But I'm glad that, you know, not finding Winston in store was actually a blessing in disguise because I was able to get it on Amazon and get the version with the Slimer. Otherwise, I would have got the version with the ghost that I didn't want. So it all worked out. So hooray. Winston's getting his own video. We have a little Slimer here. Everything is good. So packaging pretty standard for this. Pretty cool uh, animation here. That actually really looks like... Uh, Ernie Hudson. That's a really cool little bit of animation there. I'm going to zoom in on that. That's actually pretty cool. And it has the classic 1984 logo there. Ghostbusters Winston Zedmore. I also just kind of noticed that the front of the package is meant to look like the side of the Ecto-1. It took me a while to realize that. I hadn't really been paying attention, but that's pretty cool. And then on the back, it just kind of shows how Slimer's head opens up, and we'll take a look at all that, of course. A little bit of a little small bio there for Winston, if you want to go ahead and check that out. But yeah, so like I said, it all worked out. I'm glad I got this version. Might have to track down an alternate Peter with the Terror Dog at some point. We'll see how that goes. Maybe if there's a sale eventually. But let's get Winston out of the packaging here, and let's take a closer look. Alright, so here they are out of the packaging. Winston looks great. Really like the style of, you know, sculpting they use for this. It's kind of a cool, like, art style that they use for these figures. And I think he looks fantastic. Got the Ghostbuster symbol there on the shoulder. Very small, but you can see it says Zedmore on his name tag there. These are basic five POA figures, so he's got a neck that can kind of rotate side to side. He's got the spin at the arm, and then he's got nine degrees in the waist, and that's pretty much it. But you can see the proton pack here just pegs onto his back. Kind of a half circle there and just pegs right in. I wish there was a little bit of paint or detail. I mean, there's definitely a lot of nice molded in detail to the Proton Pack. But a little bit of paint would have been nice. I mean, something customizers could certainly do them on their own. This can peg in like so. That's kind of the easiest way to do it. But I mean, the way I always liked it was to have the, the handle of the wand pointing up. But it's a little difficult to do. It can be done, but I really think that would probably warp it over time, but I wish there, this was a little bit longer, or maybe if this was made out of some kind of, like, cloth rope or something that would not distort as easily, but it kind of is what it is. But it does feed into his hand pretty easily. What I like to do is kind of pop it in there and then slide it in. Makes it a little bit easier. And he holds it well. He looks good holding the uh, wand here. So if you want to peg it on to the backpack, the tip kind of facing up makes the most sense and works the best. But you can kind of do it with the handle up, which is really what it should be. But it's a little bit harder to finagle that configuration. But it's not impossible. So he looks great. Let's take a look at little Slimer here. So he's a cool little dude. He's got some arm articulation. Uh, this can move... Not terribly much. It really can't raise up that far, but it can kind of come back, which is a weird choice. Can it go all the way around? Okay, so it can go, and then it kind of stops there. These are weird. I'm not really sure what's going on. So there's kind of, there's obviously something there that's stopping it, and it's the same reason it wouldn't 
come any far forward. So there must be a piece in here that kind of stops. But if you don't want the hands kind of all the way down here, you can raise them up by going around 270 degrees. So that is an option, depending on which hand configuration you like better. But the fright feature, there's a button here on the back, so you just push that in. And then the head splits apart, and I guess this is his tongue, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to be on his tongue. Maybe some food or something he ate. I'm going to be honest, it's, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Uh, you can see here that there's a small peg and there's a small peg hole over here. So when you go ahead and push this back together, you just peg it in. And then luckily that feature is strong enough to pop it open. Hopefully it doesn't break that peg over time. But yeah, Slimer is pretty neat. Uh, I think the fright feature is a little creepy. But overall, that's kind of what they were all doing. So nothing too different from the rest of the ghosts that we had seen. Uh... So yeah, I like the little Slimer. I'm glad I just didn't get another repaint of a ghost I already had. I still think that's kind of a weird decision to stop the production halfway through and change it to repaints. I'm assuming it's a cost-cutting measure, but obviously some of these were produced. So in any case, finally happy to have Winston fill out the full core team, original Ghostbusters, and he's great. Really love him, love the little Slimer. Uh, like I said, the only problems he has are the problems that all four of them have where I wish there was a little bit more detail here, actual like painted detail, because the molded detail is good, but some more painted detail in the Proton Pack. And I wish maybe this was either a little bit longer if it's going to be made out of this material, or maybe done as some kind of cord or, or thread or something, or something. The original toys had kind of, a, it's hard to describe, but it was like a more uh, malleable material, almost like a rope that you could, you know, that way you could flip it around because I like to have the the handle of the wand facing up so they can reach up and grab them, but because of the length and the way this is made of this plastic, it doesn't work well. Again, it's not impossible, but it's much easier to peg it on with the tip of the wand facing up, which doesn't make as much sense, but otherwise, like I said, Winston's great. Definitely recommend him. If you can get him with Slimer, I definitely recommend getting this version because then you'll get a different ghost instead of one you probably already have. So I think he's great. Definitely check him out. I think the line's been pretty fun so far, and I'm interested to see what else we get going forward. Probably some more releases closer to the time of the release of the movie, which I believe is Thanksgiving, if I'm not getting that wrong. So yeah, pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.